Uh, my name is Breda Scanlon. I am a clinical nurse manager here in Nazareth House. I've been working here for over 30 years and have loved it. Sean Curtin. Mary Curtin, his wife. Yeah. Long suffering. <laughs> My name is Margaret McSweeney and I'm, I've been a volunteer here for the last 28 years. I suppose in recent times since um, Mary O'Malley has come on board as Director of Nursing and since um, Helen Martin has come on board. We have been putting a lot of emphasis on activities for, for the residents, um, trying to get the residents involved in the community and trying to get the community uh, coming into Nazareth to get involved as well. And um, they're out on day trips quite a lot. They go to the, been down in the pub recently for a, for a knees up, and they go out to, into town for coffee. Um, every Thursday, they're out in the, for lunch. They go up to the Wild Goose. They're, they're, Lots of, and then in within the nursing home, we have uh, the Grow program, which is uh, get uh, residents out of uh, wheelchairs. Um, so we're encouraging uh, the residents to remain active as long as possible, so that there's a an activity program, an exercise program for them, where the activity coordinators would facilitate that, and also the care assistants, obviously, um, to get them more active and to keep them out of wheelchairs. Generally, spend our time in the sitting room and we have bingo there, and ball games, and um, general conversation with other residents. We all have our own friends there, may have made friends over the time here. And uh, on a Thursday then, the community bus from Drumahan calls here picks anyone up who wishes to go into town and we go into town with one of the carers and um, we go to the Hibernian Hotel and for a coffee morning where we can meet our friends if we wish or just stay together and have a chat and uh, we come back again at lunchtime and that's Thursday. On a Friday then, we have the use of the wheelchair bus and a jury, a voluntary driver, drives the bus and we ourselves can decide where we go that day. They look for suggestions. We might decide to go to Donrail Park or to Blarney We've gone to Griffin's um, Garden Centre in Dripsy. Well, the Life is for Living project is very important. It, um, it makes the life of our residents uh, very gratifying, very like home as far as we can. Um, they're encouraged to do whatever activities they would have done before um, coming into a nursing home. Just because you're living in a nursing home doesn't mean that your life stops. You still can leave at any time. It's not a prison. You can go out with family. You can go for meals. You can join in family celebrations. And that's all encouraged. Uh, activities in-house are done on a daily basis. We have mass every morning. Uh, rosary. We have trips to Mallow trips to garden centres, um, trips to coffee shops, and we have a, a bus in the facility that can take wheelchairs. Most of our residents love the days out, and sometimes if they don't feel like going, that's okay too. It's the next best thing to home. It's a big move for them, yeah. and we try to make it as near to home as possible, including their families. But 
and the other nurses that we have, all the team members, the healthcare assistants, the housekeepers, uh, the dining room staff, you know, the kitchen staff, we're all in it together. We're just a team for the benefit of our residents. We're moving into the new place very shortly, a couple of weeks' time, I think, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. bit nervous about it because I have no sense of direction. That bit I'm nervous about, but my husband, Lord Merson, he used to always say, you always have a mouth in your mags, ask. And people are very, very kind, and they will always steer you in the right direction. That's the only worry I have about the place. I'm looking forward to the freshness and the newness and everything about it. Um, but as I say, it'll probably lack a bit of character. But we'll put our own print on it, and maybe 50, 100 years' time, it might have a bit of character from us. God is good. And in the meantime, if I do get lost, and I'm only found, and there's a bag of bones there, they'll find the lighter and they'll say, ah, oh, that's where she went, that was Meg's. The one thing that I found difficult to get used to here was sharing bedroom space with others. I wasn't used to it and found it difficult. I did get used to it, but still would much prefer to have my own space, which I'm looking forward to very much in the new place where everyone has a, their own ensuite bedroom. And um, I understand lovely views from the windows and nice garden space outside. And all that sounds like top of the range to me. Things I'm mainly looking forward to in the new building are getting a new shop. Because we've worked in one which is just a hot press for 25 years. And the comforts for the residents will be enormous. Hopefully everything else will stay the same, the good care and f lovely food and the happiness you feel when you go through the rooms. There's always somebody looking for a chat and you can sit down and discuss the world with them. Sometimes they mightn't understand what you were talking about, but they'd be happy about it anyway. So all that would be very important to me. Um, so, and that's one of the things that I was... Uh, Glad to hear about the new place that it would be, uh, as well as there will there be the bookcase, you know, for books as well, for the, uh, furniture, and uh, there's um, and the chair. Though two of the things that were kind of uh, um, stressed, you know, about the uh, you know, accommodation, the thing that I have. Uh, Welcome most in the new place is uh, compared to <coughs> where we are now is uh, 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 the plentifulness of space, uh, space for walking, which I know, which they say, uh, so that was one thing that was mentioned, and it, it was um, less, it was walked, uh, covered, uh, that, um, and uh, calculated, you know, uh, paths, how it works, because uh, that would be one of my favourite pa pastimes. And uh, um, <coughs> in the, uh, the present time, present, I have much scope for, for walking, so that would be a very welcome part of the, of the new regime. So we're all very excited about moving to the new facility. Um, the rooms are... are really large and spacious. Um, the ensuite bathroom is very nice, which, you know, is very important for our residents to have their own private space for their own, you know, family uh, pictures and whatever they like to bring from home. Um, it Because at the moment where we are now, it's cramped. Um, they have limited space for their personal possessions and bathrooms generally are shared. Um, the private rooms also will help uh, in the 
sleeping situation in that you won't listen to anyone else who maybe is a bit restless at night, which at the moment we have in the multi-occupancy rooms. The private rooms will solve that problem. Before we moved here, my main hope was that I would have a room to myself where I'd have privacy and space, and I have both since I came here. And not only that, but I have, I think, the nicest view from the window of the room, of any room in the place. I can see the countryside away out and enjoy the greenery and the space and feel a part of the world in the room. And then I have my own ensuite bathroom as everybody has. And that to me is one of the best things. I found it terribly hard in the old building to be sharing with so many in a ward situation. There are several things I like about the new nursing home. The first one is the comfort the residents have, which is fantastic. And their beautiful bedrooms with their curtains and their cushion covers and everything matching. Absolutely beautiful. We also got our new shop. It's only temporary, but it's new and we have a bit of space. And I hope everybody that watches this will come and buy their goodies from us. Things I like about the building is on Mondays you can do what you want to do. You, if it's fine, you walk out. Those of us that can walk on our own. On Tuesday nights we have a choir and quite a few choirs and people come in to entertain us. And uh, on Wednesday then we did a lot of draw here. And on Thursday mornings we go to town by bus from Dramahan. They call for us. And it's a free bus to go in and they collect us to come out. And we meet our friends in town at the Hibernian Hotel. And we're in our new building now, approximately four weeks. It's all going very well. Um, it's a beautiful state-of-the-art facility all individual rooms. Um, I suppose my favourite thing is it's so bright, it's so airy and so spacious. All our residents have private ensuite bedrooms and their own TVs. They appear very happy with the change. Uh, from a staff point of view, uh, a little more walking than before, but it's, it's worth it for the beautiful quality of life our residents now have. I think the actual day of the move went very well and the residents uh, settled in very well, really, very quickly, I think. 
and um, obviously it's a whole new life for them um they have their own they have the privacy now of a single room which is great and they can go there and have some quiet time and yet they can join with the other residents and in the sitting room or the day room when they want and get involved in activities um and i think for us the staff as well it's been great um just a bright environment now to be working in it's like we've come from darkness into light into this new building and um, I think everybody has settled in very well. And it's a very positive feedback from residents, from staff and from uh, relatives. So I think it's all good. And we look forward to the future. The one thing I like about the new building is the staff are just excellent. You couldn't fault them. They put up with me. I never know where I'm going. I ask the most stupidest questions, but they always have patience with me. Life is for living is our vision of life in Nazareth House and comes directly from the core values of the Sisters of Nazareth who have provided loving, dedicated care to the people of, Na of Mallow for the la since the 1930s. Home in Nazareth House is a place in time for many people along the journey of life and it's lived with respect, patience, compassion, love, hospitality and lots and lots of fun and laughter.